Hey everybody, Jared here once again, and today we're taking a look at FPS meter. FPS meter, so we can take a look at uh, what the frames per second is throughout both the system as well as applications and games and so on. Um, all you gotta do is install it and go ahead and click start service. Then we've got some uh, a few additional options here, such as um, the location of it, uh, the text size, color, and transparency level. I've already hit start there, but let's go ahead and back out and jump into a game really quickly um, so we can take a look at what it's doing. And if I can do this on the side here, we'll go ahead and jump into Dead Trigger. And uh, we'll let this load up and we'll uh, cut it back once we actually jump into a game real quickly to uh, prevent this video from lasting too long. All right, so here we are. Uh, we're in Dead Trigger. We've got our um, FPS meter up and running. Um, and uh, as you can see, we can't, it, does, it looks like um, we're around 30 to 34. Um, won't go much above that, it, it, it appear. Um, I don't know if that's due to the settings I have or the ROM I'm running. I am running a CM10 based ROM. However, I have been some, uh, having some issues with it. Um, we are using the on-demand governor. I don't know if that'll have anything to do with it at all. I don't have any GPU tweaks running at the moment either. Um, and uh, so we'll just move around here. Oh, it looks like we did manage to get up to about 45, but... Uh, Certainly, we're not hitting 50 or 60 frames per second. As you can see, we'll move around there. Uh, all right, let's, uh, let's go ahead and back out of here. And maybe we'll do one more test, one more game. All right, so here we're jumping into Contract Killer 2. This is the game that I reviewed yesterday that I was actually complaining about having um, quite a bit of um, in-app system lag, uh, if you will, between navigating some of the system menus and so on. Um, so let's go ahead and see what our frames per second is inside this particular game here. Go ahead and skip through there, and uh, we'll just quickly load up a contract. All right, so here we are in Contract Killer 2. Uh, as you can see here, we're getting some okay frames. Um, you know, nothing too crazy. We are getting quite a bit higher than uh, than we were getting in um, Dead Trigger. Um, probably because Dead Trigger uses a lot more 3D rendering than I would say... Um, contract killer has I mean the graphics the differences in graphics is quite noticeable so that's probably why we're getting some higher FPS in this particular game let's go ahead and back up to the menu though because the menu is where I was really noticing a lot of the lag and stuttering all right so let's jump into the store and uh, as you can see right down there to around four it was it was at four frames per second now we're uh, averaging about 20 um, and as, I mean, this is why I'm not liking the game because the menus have such slow frames per second with pretty much nothing going on in the background. All right, so let's go ahead and back out of here and uh, we'll talk about the cost of the game. All right, sorry, I just said cost of the game, I meant cost of the app. Um, so the cost of the app is actually damn near $3. $3 for such a simplistic app that does very little. Um, although this may be useful to a lot of people, um, it doesn't actually serve any real purpose. Yeah, you can test out your ROMs, uh, FPS, your device's FPS, what kind of FPS you're getting in games and so on. Um, but it doesn't really do anything for you. And that data doesn't exactly help us do anything, period. Um, so for what the app is and does, $3 is an absolutely astronomical price for me, although $3 is only $3. Um, a price point I would have rather liked to see was maybe around a dollar to a dollar fifty pushing it. Um, one more thing that also kind of, um, in my opinion, takes away from, you know, wanting or justifying to pay three dollars is the fact that this is only a root capable uh, application um, so if you don't have root you can't actually use this app which is stupid um, especially if you're paying three bucks so I mean maybe maybe three dollars if you somehow manage to swing it so that you didn't actually need uh, root access in order to use the application I could see maybe paying two dollars 250 but three dollars for this type of application is absolutely ridiculous um, and that's just my opinion Anyways, guys, it's kind of an interesting app. I probably might be um, cycling this in maybe some of my ROM reviews or game reviews. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I, I don't really know yet. I'm not sure how I'm feeling about this application. But it was kind of neat. Thought you guys might be interested in it, so I thought I'd share it. Um, anyways, guys, that's it for now. Um, we'll probably see you on Monday uh, because I'm just going to have the weekend all to myself. <laughs> Catch up on some of those games I've been downloading, right? Uh, anyways, guys, if you liked the video, shoot me some love by hitting that likes button down below and maybe subscribe for more videos like this one in the future. Uh, we do have videos five days a week. 
And but that's it for now, folks. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.